Hello, hello, and welcome back to the podcast. Today we're talking all about how security and productivity do not have to be opposites. Some of the most common challenges that we hear from our clients, they have to do with the perceived battle between security and productivity. We often hear CISOs saying, I can't implement security because it makes my staff crazy or it slows them down or it kills their productivity. Or alternatively, we hear my employees can only be productive if I let them work the way they like to work. And we totally understand these complaints. We know that they're based on real everyday struggles. 74% of CISOs interviewed by Bromium said that their employees were frustrated by a slowdown in productivity because of security measures. And other studies have shown even higher numbers as well as days and days of company work that's lost due to efforts in security. So really, you might be wondering what's causing these hindrances and if they're often things like increased security training hours, restricted actions and applications, and blocked websites and apps. Some security measures really do slow employees down. We get that. But there are absolutely ways to improve security without doing so. So we're going to talk about some tips that can help your company boost security and productivity simultaneously. So the first thing is shared file networks. Email is a common vector for vulnerability. So rather than employees sending each other emails with important files and information, why not send them through a shared secure network? or don't send them at all. Just collaborate on the source files directly as a team in real time. This way there are less individual target points and you don't have to worry about those employees who'll click on just anything that gets emailed to them. Microsoft Teams is a great example of a shared hub where employees can send and store files, communicate efficiently with one another, and easily access relevant company information. After a Teams implementation, Many organizations effectively pivot to an email is external communication, Teams is internal communication model, which is really quite effective. And we here at Infuse Innovations do so as well. By regulating external communications to email, employees are less likely to be tricked by the phishing attempt from the quote big boss. If you're interested, we even have a demo guide that makes it easy to set up Teams for your organization. The next thing is multi-factor and biometric authentication. Multi-factor authentication is one of the easiest and most helpful ways to prevent accounts from getting hacked. And it doesn't have to be a headache. Oftentimes it simply requires a quick code that's sent to the user's phone to verify their identity. We really don't recommend a text message. An even quicker sign-in method is biometric authentication, which uses a fingerprint or a facial recognition to identify the user. This is what we'd recommend. There are various phases of password login to explore, each of which can boost both security and convenience for your employees. The next tip that we have is about conditional access. Perhaps one of the best ways to not annoy users with MFA challenges is by using conditional access. We have a detailed implementation guide that we can send you, but let's talk about why it's so beneficial. Conditional access uses various factors of an employee's sign-in, things like their identity, their physical location, the device they're coming from, the status of their AAD account risk level, the state of endpoint software on their system, and many other things to determine in real time whether or not to prompt the user for additional authentication. Conditional access policies at their simplest are if-then statements. If a user wants to access a resource, then they must complete an action. This can work with first-party Microsoft applications as well as third-party SaaS applications. By using conditional access policies, you can apply the right access controls when needed to keep your organization secure and stay out of your user's way when not needed. The next tip that we have for you is automated password managers. Automation is always our friend when it comes to productivity, and it can help with security too. For those who aren't ready for the biometric or passwordless login methods mentioned, you might consider an automated password manager. The need to remember, enter in, and periodically change passwords is a common employee complaint. A password manager can generate strong passwords that employees don't even need to remember. It creates a sort of encrypted vault that holds all of these strong separate passwords for each account. 
Then that user must remember only one password to automatically access the ones in that manager. The next tip that we have is about role-based access control, RBAC. It's important to know what each of your employee needs to be able to access in order to do his or her job. Restricting necessary access will hinder productivity and bring on the complaints. But identifying and restricting unnecessary access will improve security without the employee seeing a difference in workflow. Role-based access control categorizes employees based on what information they need and limits their access to sensitive data that they don't need. Less access is more secure, and having a good understanding of your employees' roles will basically make the security improvement invisible to them. Ultimately, security and productivity can work together, and they can work together well. When security and productivity are seen as opposing competitors, company leaders often prioritize productivity. And we get that. It's no fun to see work get hindered. And it's a big employee complaint when they're held back. But this can create a very dangerous environment and even lead to disastrous results. Really, it's just a dichotomy that does not have to exist. You don't have to choose one or the other. Security and productivity can both be achieved. We are all about win-win solutions. So let us know what your challenges are and we're happy to help you boost in both of these areas of your organization. Thanks for hanging today as we chatted all about how security and productivity don't have to be opposites. We'll see you next time on the podcast.